In the last video, we built our base MobX state tree tree. Uh, now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually going to take this and inject it into our app React application. Um, so to get started, let's go under MST and let's create a new file called setup.ts. And before I really create this, I want to go back to our introductory slide. And I want to remind you how I recommend integrating Mobix State Tree into React. Now, when the app starts up, what I want to do is I want to create an instance of the root tree. And then I want to take that root tree and then I want to input that into a component called provider that wraps our application. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to need to create a function that creates the root tree instance. Um, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, so in the setup file, we'll essentially create that function. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a thing called, well, I'm going to export a function called setup root store. So I'll do export const setup root store. And I'm just going to use an arrow function here. And I'm going to do const root tree, which this is going to end up being our instance. And you'll set that equal to root model, which is going to be imported from from here. Um, all right, so there it is up there. And then you're going to, um, if you hit dot and then control enter, you're going to look at all the different type of stuff that you can do on a Mobix state tree node. What we're going to do is we're going to use the create command which creates an instance of our uh, model. And this just takes in an object as a parameter. And the first parameter here are, are our default values. Um, so in our case, I'm just gonna take the employer node, I'm gonna set that equal to an object, and I'm just gonna use some like boilerplate stuff here. Um, I'll set ID equal to a string of one, um, I'll specify a name and I'll, I'll use um, Bob's Burgers. And then uh, I'll do a, if you hit control space, you got the nice little autocomplete. So I'll just do the location next. And it's going to be a string. And I'll just specify New York, New York. And then I'll do one more property. And that's going to be employees. Um, and I'm just going to set that equal to an empty array. Now, this create uh, method does actually take in two parameters. Um, it's kind of hard to read there. But if you wanted to do a thing called a dependency injection, which we're not actually, it's, it's out of scope of this tutorial. Um, but you could open up another object and do like a dependency injection um, into there as well. Um, but I'm not doing it for this demo. If you're interested in that, um, check out the documentation. All right, so now the last thing we have to do is just uh, return this guy in this function. So I'll just do return. And I'll just specify an object. And I'll call that root tree. And this will just export out the root tree instance that we just created. And then I'll be able to access this in our main app.tsx file and inject it into our main um, React component. So go ahead and save this. Now we'll come back into app.tsx. Now sticking this into our React component is slightly tricky, but just follow along here and it'll make sense. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to execute that function that we just created in the setup root store. We're going to execute this in our component in our component did mount function. This is the re, uh, react lifecycle method. And then we're gonna set it, we're gonna set our root instance equal to state. And then we're not gonna run this, we're not gonna return our react component until we've got that instance. 
Um, so if you don't understand, just follow along and it'll make, make sense. Um, so in state, what I'm going to do is I'll specify root tree. I'll set that equal to null. And then down here in the render statement, I'll check to see if root tree is null. If root tree, if this exists, then I'm just going to return null. And that should be this.state. Um, if you're using TypeScript, make sure you add this to your typings up here. I'll just use any. So if I were to refresh this, it should just return null and not render anything. That's because we haven't changed this state yet. So in this component did mount, what we're going to do is we're going to execute that function that we just created and set up. And we're going to set that instance equal to this state. So I'll do const. Remember, um, our setup returns a uh, object. I'll specify root tree. I'll set that equal to this setup root store. Um, so go ahead and import that in. And now we'll execute this dot set state. And we'll set our root tree equal to that root tree instance that we just created. Now that this is set, the next time our render function executes, it's going to run to this block here and actually render um, some information. So what I'll do for now is I'll just keep this high here because we haven't actually created our employer or employee component, but I'll wrap this with provider. And this comes from my state tree. Um, make sure you import that. So I, let me do the auto import. So I'll just come up here and import it manually. Import provider from mob x state. Actually, this comes from mob x react. And then as a prop provider, go ahead and pass in your state, but call it uh, root tree and then set that equal to this dot state dot root tree and I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup just because I'm OCD um, I like to take out root tree from this dot state just to make things cleaner root tree and root tree. All right, that looks a lot better. All right, so let's just go ahead and make sure this runs. So as you can see here, our React app did successfully render. Um, so that's really good to see. However, we don't know if our tree model was created properly or not. However, we can find this out doing a little bit of setup work. There is a listener um, thing called on snapshot that essentially listens to any snapshots that are created and then executes a block of code uh, upon creation of that snapshot. Um, so what we can do is after this root tree is created, we can specify the on snapshot listener right here. And then um, after this is created, we can essentially mock a new, uh, a new snapshot and test whether this on snapshot is actually working. In this on snapshot, we can actually const.log the new snapshot so we can actually see it. So um, on snapshot, this is something that actually comes from mob state tree. And it takes in two parameters. The first one is our instance, which I'll specify root tree. And the second one is the block of code that we want to execute whenever a new snapshot is created. And what we'll do is we'll specify a function. This function has a parameter built in called snapshot, which is the new snapshot. And we'll just specify an arrow function and we'll do console.log snapshot equals snapshot. All right, 
Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to mock a, um, a new snapshot. To, so to do this, we're actually going to get the current snapshot from the instance using the get snapshot method. So I'll specify const current root tree. And I'll set that equal to get snapshot. And then I'll specify my instance here, my root tree instance. And I'll make sure to import get snapshot. Now that that is created, we can use the apply snapshot method, which essentially creates a new snapshot for our instance. And I'll make sure to import that from Mobix State Tree. Um, and in here, we have to actually pass in um, two parameters. The first one is the instance um, that we are applying the snapshot to. So in this case, it's just going to be root tree. And the second instance, or sorry, the second parameter is basically our new snapshot. Um, and I'll basically pass in an object, and then I'll do the spread operator on the current root tree. And then within there, I'm going to specify the employer object, and I'm going to spread the current employer snapshot first. So do dot 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 current root tree. And this and then I, I'll do a comma. And what I'll do is I'll just change this location. I'll say location is man Manhattan, New York. And let's see. And I forgot the current current root tree and I should actually specify dot employer just so the employer gets all of his existing properties and I'll save this guy and now what should happen is after I apply this new snapshot this on snapshot listener should execute and then console.log the new snapshot to the console so if I go back here you can see that it just loaded uh, in the console, I do have this snapshot here. So that's good to see. And as you can see here, um, here's my employer object, and it has a new location, Manhattan, New York. So now that we know our, now we know our setup root store is working appropriately. So that gives us a lot of confidence to move forward. Now just doing a little bit of cleanup here. Um, I am going to uh, delete these two lines here, just because we don't need these going forward. However, I'll keep this on snapshot listener which will really help us while we're um, going through the rest of our exercises, just so we can see snapshot after snapshot what's going on. So let me save that. All right, that should be good. Now let me go back into app.ts and let me just close the integrated terminal and let me take a look. I think I'll wrap it up for this video. Um, just to kind of recap what we did in this um, during this video, what we did is we created this um, setup function that created an instance of our root tree. Um, and then we exported that from that function. And then in our app component, we um, essentially executed that, set it, to, set it to our local state, and then we rendered it in our provider component uh, that essentially wraps our entire application. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build out the employer and employee components, uh, and then we'll, uh, and then after that, we'll inject our store into those components. So, see you in the next video.